I am pretty gentle. It, wait, are there people in this universe? I thought it was just gonna be like actual. Oh, there is humans because I watched the I watched the trailer. So, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are playing a new game I recently got called Bear and Breakfast, and I'm really excited for this to maybe become a series, depending of you guys like this video. So let's head it. All right. So here we are in Bear and Breakfast, a game that I got for free for the Epic Games Weekly free games. But I thought this was actually like a really cool game because normally I do games just to get them, like just because, you know, have them in my library because why not? Um, but I'm actually got this game because I actually wanted to record on it. I think it could be a really cool series if, you know, I decide to turn this into a series. And if you guys like it, then I will 100% do more videos on this. And I've heard this bear snoring for the past five minutes. So we're going to like go right into the game because I can't handle this noise anymore. Just go with the first empty slot. Oh, this is going to be cool, actually. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Oh, space. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded him. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced it through the air. There was no one there. Everything in silent fell dark and silent again except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <laughs> yeah, sleep is very over- What the- I thought this was just a harmless game. Hello? I can't move. Well, yeah, no, duh, I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Do not move? Can't do that either. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. WASD. Why did you say do not move and then tell us how to move? I thought it was going to be WASD. You didn't have to, like- Find bet. Is there a storyline to this? I thought this was gonna be just a friendly like tycoon game. Okay, guess. Find bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, sleep. Sure. I'll just take a nap in the death bed. Okay. How do I e interact? Okay. Thank you. Let me in. Thank you. There we go. Do not agree. I'm making up your mind. Making your mind up. Wake up. You don't have to say the last word. Whoa. Is there actually a storyline to this? Because this would be really cool. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. Yeah, sure. Because that's why you were hallucinating. Why are you in a cave? Third time. Hank. Is that the name of me? I'm guessing my character. Oh, better see what's up. Okay. Is it E to... Oh, cool. Oh, what? This is cool. Turn off the lamp. What's this? I don't know. What is going on? I don't think we're supposed to go there. Are we? Oh, I think we are, actually. What's this rock? Can we mine? No. Alright. Let's just go over here, I guess. Uh, I can't go this way. Wait, okay, now I'm confused. Is there, like, a key I'm supposed to grab? Oh, that's a light. Oh, this door? Is this a door? Yeah, it's a door. Ah, oh, there she is. This is her mom. I'm up. <laughs> Aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep besides what? Is this? I don't know. I don't have time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. You have... Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No. Where is Annie? Oh, in a room with uh, Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. All right, well, who's Will? Who's Annie? Well, I'm guessing little sister, maybe? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Let's go through this door. Good. Get out. <laughs> All right, Will. Morning out. That's a very good morning of you. Something good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reason to be up yet. What do you mean? They're already awake, so I don't even understand why they're even mad right now. Uh, what do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's in the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Are these just like roommates or maybe not? I don't know. See, mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. Okay. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. And we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies 
Okay, that seems so random to just throw out of nowhere over here. All right, get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Okay. This is cool. I love the uh, art style. The art style is so cute. Oh, adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Okay. Hey, mom. Morning, kids. <laughs> you sleep all right? I'm guessing... Yeah, obviously, it's our mom. But, like, I'm guessing the other two are, like, maybe hired. Probably. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. <laughs> all right. Point me to the hole to black moss. What? Nothing. Brilliant. I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. Sorry. Switch around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the oh, This is a tombstone? Or is this something else? Uh, it's getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. I mean, uh, adventure. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Oh, I feel like there's some storyline to this, 100%. Is this a backflash? Oh my gosh, flashback? <laughs> don't lose it again. I won't. You will. Three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. No one steps further than the swamp. A smile. Okay, where did we go? Oh, does this arrow actually point us? I think it does. Yeah, because this goes outside the fence, so yes, it is this way. Black moss hole. <laughs> Why is it called that? Oh my gosh. So it's farther than they've ever gone. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this is, was not exactly their first adventure. Annie the Carolian dog. Okay. Brave but clumsy. Will. The poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious. Maybe a little concerned about the promise you made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander far in an adventurous fashion, I promise. So they've been outside before. Like, this isn't their first time. But this is their first time getting permission to go outside. All right, gang, spread. Spread. All right. I'm just going to follow this. Higher screech. What? I heard it too. You better go. We haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sign came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom says straight back. Let's go. Just said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Well, uh, I guess is, we're going over here. Oh yeah, this is not like weird whatsoever oh my gosh we're going through another area. what does it say it's a timber crossing okay oh my gosh <laughs> timber crossing it's kind of beautiful actually low-key what time period is this that's what i'm interested in why okay the moss part is just like horrific this part just looks more beautiful oh yeah luxurious we'll go with that looks like the one from shrek okay so it's not that crazy crafting table is this okay i'm assuming this is where we're gonna be when you play this game. There's a reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible. Because people only think of them up on a month. Yeah, you know what? Will's probably correct when it comes to this. I pressed on the wrong character though, that's the funny thing. There's nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Okay! <laughs> the strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was trapped to his neck, bulleting out nonsense from a hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Yeah, whatsoever. Part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine. Gentleman in the uh, orange coat. It's a human. I am pretty gentle. Wait, are there people? In this universe? I thought it was just gonna be like actual- Oh, there is humans! Because I watched the- I watched the trailer, so... Would you like to own the next minor share in the next major man maneuver? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna share anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. <laughs> what do we get to share again? Very minor. What does that mean? 
the y equals ax2 with the flipping like <laughs> that's the math well, that's so funny and how exactly are you talking pawn voyage is a multi-functional multi-layered multi your friend corporation okay yeah that's my reaction offering secure touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral it just feels like they're at, like just throwing a bunch of corporate words and we're just expected to understand you lost me don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? Yeah, with the all caps towards millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location of premises, no matter how rundown or decrepit. Yeah, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around <laughs> where Shark Boy tells them, but they stare at the trees try to forget whatever they're running from it's so true though like tourists i don't understand touristy like going on like oh my gosh his face i don't understand touristry like i don't understand that i don't know maybe it's just me i read in the magazine humans are whack if you or a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pond voyage premium premises by restoring repairing redecorating or bringing it to a minimum standard which frankly no one enforces and drastically barely alter your monthly income simply press the green button under my gullet okay and a representative will get in touch yeah let's do it i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what he just said i love his face right here if i heard that shark right i'm pretty sure he wants to give us money Human grade, prima quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Fair enough. Touche. Barely seen one in months, yeah. Uh, that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things. Yeah, foolproof. And spoil sports cheerful attitude. Sure, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. Why does it matter if you're in the middle of a forest? Why does cash matter? Like, genuinely, though. Also, how did they get a house? Like, did they buy it or they probably built it, actually? Let me be honest, I have no idea what you just said. Human back money give good. I'm gonna be honest, it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. We could use literally any of the buildings in this area. Not to lose, nothing to gain. Grab yeah, I'm not gonna walk away all right guys well this game is finished that was the end <laughs> you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement <laughs> you're not gonna bite us in the future by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department okay well whatever or unknown pattern name suits you <laughs> <laughs> you're now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days simply press the green button under and go like whenever the premises are accepted first guest all right who knows anything about human houses well i used to look at pictures of the houses in the magazines we found uh could the humans maybe just live under a bus oh yeah i don't think that cuts it they're fragile and get scared easily <laughs> so true ashley so true sounds familiar i think i know a thing or two about making a place cozy and i do not get scared that easily yeah but i think we need help too we should go find tony I don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him what his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. All right, where are we going? There's gotta be bus station. Okay. They want Sawdust. Oh, over here, top uh, left corner, kind of. No. Well, yes. No, that's true. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, where are we going? Over here. And it's nighttime, so this is just brilliant. I love wandering at night alone. Nothing scary ever happens. Um, just squeeze in there. And I think I trapped myself, so actually I should go around. So if we punch the trees. I don't know. Maybe because the axe is more efficient? Tony! A bear. Alright. It's just me, sir. Hang from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk? Yeah, this guy is actually mentally ill. 
I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I want to ask if you could help us. We've got a... You say so. What do you need? A stack of birch? Actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's shark in Timber Crossing. Okay. Like for your fish? He's bringing humans to the valley. Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. <laughs> well, of course you... Uh, sorry. Of course, no. Everything people make is perfect. Sure. I took the mill here. I found the most painful schematics. I felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought would take so many shapes. Okay. Elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix the old shack in Temper Crossing. How wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet a ladder oh and a couple stacks of pines that's just for me will you the bright yellow ones they're all yellow okay um keep going. okay it looks like there's a lot yeah i got five but i'm gonna get more because i feel like this will come just handy just to get more than what i need eventually okay i think i'm good for now probably get them later maybe i couldn't i don't know did you find all the wood uh, yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect, you're doing such a good job. Thanks, I just picked it off the ground. I'm on to Timber Crossing, I'll see you there. Alright, cool. Do we have to watch this guy? Okay, never mind. Alright, time to go over. Mom's gonna be, like, so paranoid right now. Frick is Hank. Oh my gosh, he's dead. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Let's just go back. Oh, here's Tony. <laughs> I was, like, wondering where he was. Yes, all of that is wonderful. I'm gonna use this old shed. I haven't seen a human coming in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. What could decide to finally show up? Just telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. All right, well, um, I gotta clean the shed, but I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and if you want me to play this game more, um, yeah, just let me know in the comments, or if this gets enough likes or views, I will. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.